Let's talk about Sadaharu O. Okay, Japanese home run hitter. Clearly one legged. Okay, torsion up his rear leg, snap and tilt. Okay, very clearly one legged. Starts with his leg up, uh, big coil, knee turned back into the catcher, part of the coil, and then as the rear leg starts to turn the still coiled pelvis, the bat goes backwards and he snaps it through into contact. Okay, should be one more good one here somewhere. There we go, Akinori Iwamura. One-legged move. The Japanese seem to understand the one-leggedness, okay? Um, I don't think they fully understand the snap, but they definitely understand the one-leggedness. Okay, Ichiro again, trying to get this one of him to load up, this one right there. There we go. Okay, clearly a coiled one leg, a torsioned one leg that snaps. Some of you probably heard that Ichiro's batting practice was really impressive. He would hit a ton of home runs in batting practice. He has the power, the quickness to do that, even though not a big man. But he chose to be more of a, to have more of a speed game than a power game. Uh, he threw extremely well also, but this is a great example of one-leggedness, snap, sudden, instantaneous launch. How he can control that load and snap it. So, I'm going to pull up this young lady that you've probably seen me like often on Twitter. She's got a very similar Japanese one-legged move. Her lead foot comes over toward the plate a little bit, and then she gets to the hip slip position and snaps it. Okay, one of my favorite swings. This part of the video is the high level pattern part of the swing where the leg is turning forward as the barrel is going rearward. Okay. So as I was down in Florida, um, some of the pro players that I had access to or had conversations with, um, they said their organizations are still asking the smaller guys to basically be contact hitters. Um, it doesn't matter what Jose Altuve does and Mookie Betts and Jose Ramirez and some of these other guys are like five foot nine, five ten, and small in stature compared to Aaron Judge and John Carlos Stanton and Big Poppy and, and all of those other guys. Comparatively, they they don't think they have the body to to drive the baseball. And the truth of the matter is when Altuve and Jose Ramirez and Mookie Betts come around, is they're actually full of nonsense. Yes, Aaron Judge, John Carlos Stanton, they're gonna hit more of them, and they're gonna hit them farther probably. Uh, but the fence is only so far out there, it's just gotta get over, it doesn't have to go way over. And on top of that, there's nothing wrong with a barreled baseball wherever it goes. If it's an out, you've done your job, you've barreled it. If it's a base hit, you've barreled it. If it's an out, I mean a uh, double, you've barreled it. The goal of the game should be to barrel the baseballs. Barreling baseballs has nothing to do with your size, okay? If you're flying out to the warning track, you hit the ball well, but you flew out to the warning track, you barreled it up, but you flew out to the warning track, that doesn't mean you shouldn't barrel the baseball. That means you got under that pitch. If you're getting under the pitch all the time, you work on your swing plane a little bit, so you're squaring the ball better 
hitting the center of the ball better, not the underside of the ball. But the technique that barrels baseballs consistently is the high level pattern technique, okay? So just wanted to bring that to your attention. I don't care how big your son or daughter is, you should be able to barrel the ball. That's what the game, that's what hitting is about. You might hit it at somebody, you might hit it on the ground, you might hit a line drive, you might hit a long fly ball, but barreling the ball is success. If you barrel the ball, you're gonna be a good player. You're gonna have numbers. It may be average, it may be homers, it may be OPS, but you're gonna have numbers that play. And the, bar the ability to barrel the ball comes from the one-legged stretch and fire that creates the launch quickness. Launch quickness is the, um, the factor, the element, that all the good athletes who aren't producing like they could, that's the factor they're missing. Um, I saw something on Twitter today that 75% of the balls hit 95 miles an hour or faster are hits. Okay, and I responded, but bat speed has nothing to do with that because all of them have bat speed. All of them have adequate bat speed. What they don't have, what the ones who aren't getting the hits don't have is the launch quickness. The ability to be quicker so you can read the pitch longer, so you can make better decisions, so you can hit more barrels. It's the difference between speed and acceleration. Okay, a tractor, or I'm sorry, a Corvette will go 100 miles an hour. A Volkswagen will go 100 miles an hour. The Corvette will get there way quicker. And Aaron Judge had great bat speed before he met me. Now he has launch quickness with the bat speed. So the high level pattern is all about increasing your quickness so that you can barrel balls. All right, that's it for today. What do we have in the chat? Any questions? Those Japanese hitters look like they're starting their swing almost like pitchers coming down the mound. Uh, very, very astute um, observation there. They might have that foot off the ground, but as the pitcher comes down the mound, his center of gravity starts to lower, and these Japanese, their foot's off the ground, and as they start to move forward, their center of gravity lowers. And there's a, a connection there. There's a timing there. Um, I've ever since I discovered this high level pattern, um, I've paid attention to the Japanese hitter, not just the Japanese, it, it should say Asian, I guess. Um, they seem to know and understand the one legged torsion. I don't think they have a great understanding of the snap and that would really help them. But, uh, if you're one legged, you're going to have a whole lot better chance of hitting even if you don't snap. The snap will make it even better. But when I first worked with David Matranga, who was Judge's agent, after he saw the success my son had, I never worked with David in person, and it was just a whole lot of video exchange and a lot of texting, and I could never get him to understand the snap, but I did get him to understand rear-leggedness, and he instantly had his best years. So. The Japanese have that figured out. The Asians, I should say, have that figured out. It's about time the Americans figured out. Um, the great Americans do it. The great Latin players do it. Um, but I believe they just stumble into it. Like they don't, aren't really taught that it's important. They felt it and liked it and continued to do it and had success. It's high time that what I teach is taught to everybody, okay?